All right, good morning, Marcellus East fam. Yes, I said good morning. I think the time, I don't have my watch on yet. I think the time is um like 8.15 a.m. Uh, coming to y'all this morning with a video because um try to be genuine when I do my reactions. Um, so when I get my snacks, I really hold off to try them first time on video. Uh, today I have a bowling tournament. Um, starts at uh, 12 I gotta check in at 11 so I said this is perfect um, a bowl we need something to drink at the lanes perfect time for me to try these new items and see how I like them and if I like them hopefully they help me bowl well um, so again as always when we get started thank you all for all the, the support um, continue please like comment subscribe uh, and um, yeah, man, like I said, I, I truly, truly appreciate you all. Um, I literally just woke up about 30 minutes ago, so kind of still waking up. Uh, and for anybody to say, yes, I know this is unhealthy. This is literally going to be the first thing that I had today. Um, I'm going to eat breakfast right after this. So this is going to be a genuine reaction. Um, concept of today's video is liquids uh i um being the frugal person i am i've been a diehard fan of arizona the arizona dollar iced teas that you can get at 7-eleven gas station etc and i'm sure we've all had um the mucho mango the watermelon, the fruit punch, the um, Arnold Palmer half and half, if you made a mistake and maybe you didn't even make it so you just don't even care. You get the black can, that's the light, and you think that it's regular half and half, but it's actually, it's like that Splenda tasting one, but man, they're a dollar. So uh, I throw them joints back, man. It's love the, love the Arizonas. So them is all the flavors that you typically see. Like I said, mucho mango, watermelon, fruit punch, half and half. They had the strawberry, uh, lemonade, um, etc. So me being me, I said, let me just go and see if they got some flavors that I don't know about. Sure enough, I stumbled across a couple. And I got two here today that I'm going to try. Also, um, 4th of July, right around the corner. I said, I want to try something for 4th of July and shout out to my, my, basically he's like a, he's like family. He's like a cousin, um, grew up together. Um, cousin Squeeze, AKA Anton Gaines. If y'all be see, I wear my SCV clothes, um, his clothing line. Um, I'm going to put his link in the description. If y'all want to go check him out, support him. But he hit me and was like, yo, like remember the firecracker? popsicles that you used to get from the store bus and if y'all know what a store bus is that's what we call it in Pittsburgh we call it a store bus other places y'all might call it the ice cream truck um or if y'all had a lady that lived in the projects at the end of a hall she typically had a door to her house she would open it and she would have candy call her the store lady um but she used to sell Fanta Rock Creek uh Cherokee Red, RC Cola. She never had the typical A-list um, pops. She always had the, the off-brand joints. Well, she definitely had Fago. So Fago evidently has a pop that is kin to the Firecracker Popsicles. And if y'all not recall it with the Firecracker Popsicle, it's the Popsicle that's red, white, and blue. They got a pop that is that so that's what we trying today so we trying the fago firecracker and let's try to get all these on pictures so y'all can see all three we got the sweet apple no i'm gonna do this sweet apple and cranberry tea arizona that's right let me do it like this sweet apple and cranberry cranberry iced tea I I didn't even know Arizona had exclusive flavors like this. 
And like I said, they got a couple other, uh, my AC just turned on, I hope y'all can still hear me. Um, they got a couple others that I'm gonna try. Uh, so yeah, man, we going, um, we going to jump right into this. Like I said, I haven't ate anything. Um, all I did was brush my teeth. So hopefully the taste isn't too, too bad. Um, I did that like 25 minutes ago. So hopefully, um, that has subsided because, you know, when you drink stuff right after you brush your teeth, it's never the greatest. Um, let's just jump into it. Um, we're going to do the sweet apple first. Sweet apple, Arizona. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. My wife actually had one of these already. I let her try it first, so, but I don't know. So let me do a little bit. This might be good with some crown apple. I don't know, we are gonna see. like it tastes honestly like uh watered down if you ever have one of your kids honest juice boxes that they might get from like mcdonald's or whatever that's what it tastes like it tastes like a watered down apple juice it's nothing i mean it's cool it tastes like yeah watered down apple juice or like Tastes like the peel, the, the the skin, not the peel. I said the peel. Tastes like the skin of the apple. You know, it ain't nothing right home about. I mean, it's it's cool. It ain't. It's light. Uh, yeah. Now we about to do the uh, cranberry, cranberry iced tea. I love cranberry juice. So cranberry tea sounds interesting. We'll try. It. But now that 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 cran the the sweet apple literally might be good with the uh, yeah with the crown the crown apple that actually might be really good. This is the cranberry tea. That's um. It tastes like the regular half and half tea with like a hint of cranberry. Like there's nothing. That's that's decent though. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's decent. Um, definitely tastes like tea. Like I thought it was gonna taste more like juice. Definitely has a tea. With a cranberry kick to it, like, yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's, yeah. I definitely like it better than the sweet apple. Um, the aftertaste is a little weird. Like, the tea and cranberry is a wild aftertaste. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> um, it was cool. I don't know what you can mix with that. You might be able to put some rum in it. Um, I don't know why I keep trying to get y'all a drink, drink, but that's what you could do. Um, like I said, the Fago Fowl Fowler. Um, oh yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited about this one. That's wild. It literally tastes just like the popsicle. And if y'all come in, like this is the this is the popsicle I was talking about. It literally tastes just like the popsicle. That is crazy. Like literally, if you melted the popsicle and carbonated it, that's what you're drinking. That's wild. Oh yeah. I don't I don't I have to work on the Fourth of July. I'm gonna find somebody to make me a plate and. I'm saving this for my grill. Whoever grill me some food, I'm saving this for that. And yeah, I'm gonna eat a couple of glizzies, pause, um, and I don't even care. 
Y'all fried me because I eat. It's, it's 4th of July. Oh, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah. So, those are our three. Uh, got a couple of things coming still. Um, I'm going to get them to y'all. Uh, yeah. I, I also got a couple places I'm going to hit up. Um, so, yeah. Um, videos going to start coming. Please, like I said, thank you all. Oh, excuse me. Uh, thank you all for the support. Uh, and, um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Uh, oh, I'm going to try this for the first time. I said I, would, I had no closings, but I'm going to try it. And it actually isn't something that, it's just something I was thinking about. But we're going to try it for the first time, see how it feels. But this is really, like, not a motto, but, like, when I'm thinking, when I'm eating something really good, it always pops in my head that most people live to eat. I'm sorry, most people eat to live. But what I like to do is I live to eat. So I don't know how I'm going to shop that, but I'm like, you know, that's kind of, I think that's what I'm going to use. So Marcellus Eats, where the ops eat to live, but here we live to eat. Catch y'all in the next video.